So, today it's our job to fill up this little hive with all sorts of bees. But these aren't your average bees. We got an uncommon bee here, a common bee there, and... Oh, a legendary bee. Wow. Oh my, and they are certainly something, all right. But the little babies, we just got to give them a lot of flower power to level them up. This one's taking a while, but this baby bee here, whatever it may be, will get leveled up pretty quickly. And it's a cute bee. Aw, look at that. Just flying around all pretty like and it's generating 0.9 honey every hour that's not very fast at all but let's just get these other ones leveled up because that should be also good things for us that was absolutely a sentence trust me on that we're just gonna be shoving a whole lot of flower bits into this bee here oh wait this is the legendary one i thought you would be legendary you're the uncommon one let's do you first because you'll happen faster you can't escape the flowers i will shove them down your throat this bee is being very uncooperative probably because there's flower bits going around everywhere but we get you leveled up and you're a flower bee that's Bruh. very ironic but that one's giving 2.6 honey every hour now you are gonna take a little bit of work but he certainly loves Whoa. it just keeps coming back for more okay we've got your experience up to a thousand now which is fine to start but i want to see what else we can get out of these forest packs hopefully bees that level up sooner okay an uncommon and uncommon and common and they're all new bees that i've never had before oh this one's looking all sleepy look at you do you wake up if I level you up or are you just constantly in a snooze mode? You're definitely gonna be named something like Sleepy Bee. And I was right, Sleepy Bee. <laughs> and then you look like you have some attitude about you. Gonna be like a sassy bee or something. And you are a mushroom bee. Interesting. I feel like there's a mod for that in Minecraft or something. And you're like a rainbow bee of sorts. I just love how big their eyes are when they're babies. I also have not been paying attention to how much honey these new bees are giving me, but I can't imagine it's very a lot. Ooh, this one is cool. It's all stroby. And that one actually gives a fair amount. 3.2 every hour. We can see the total here okay now we're up to 11 per hour i really hope this legendary bee just doubles that or something we just have to make sure to force feed you a whole bunch of nutrition and this little guy has gotten so out of control he's just zipping back and forth way to one side and then the other but at least he's traveling the way that the flowers are falling. It's starting to look like my orbit's in Kerbal, but just needs a few more flowers. And yes, it's a frog bee. What in the world? Oh, this is getting weird. But look at how much honey he generates though. 33 an hour. And here I was hoping it would just double the honey production. No, it quadrupled it. And we can still get five times the amount of bees in here. So let's just use the money that we do have to buy three more bee packs. Getting some bees that we have not seen before and ones that we have. I wonder if we can get another legendary out of this. So far we're getting a lot of commons and uncommons. Ooh, I think that's a legendary right there. Common, common. Oh, it's a rare, but it's also weirdly shaped. I'll take it. Oh my goodness, look at this one down here. Wait, no, 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 not you. You. What sort of nose do you have going on there? What a weird snoot. At least you level up pretty quickly, though. Just gotta follow you back and forth like this because you like to fly sideways, apparently. And oh, it's a wolf bee. Neat. And we have two of those because there's one right there. We actually have a lot of baby bees right now and also of whatever this thing is. Hmm. I don't think that's a bee. I will find out what it is. Also, hopefully these bees get along because we have a frog and a wolf in here. Also, I just lost track of the bee I was feeding. There it is. You are an acorn bee. Well, you're half right. That is bizarre right there. But we were also feeding only one bee at a time. So what we can do is just hold down in one spot here and then they go absolutely crazy and they just form a gigantic mass right here. The gravitational force of the flowers is not something to be contended with. But I also can't tell who's actually getting fed. So we'll let them disperse and then we'll pick out you because you look different and I haven't seen you before. So we just get you leveled up and oh, you're just a bumblebee that's not so bad we have two of those as well so we get the other bumblebee right there and then we have another bee that we haven't seen here i wonder if you're a proper like honeybee oh it's a sweet bee kind of looks like the end of one of those honey sticks and then you we've seen you're the cute bee doesn't take very much and you're another sweet bee now you're a new one though it's like the reverse of a 
that droop snoot. It's also so weird just seeing that frog bee zip around. It's like, what even are you? That's the dumbest thing I've seen and I love it. And this little bee right here just likes to zip around and not stay still while I'm trying to feed it. Thankfully, it doesn't take too long and we get to see that it's a leaf bee. Aw, that's adorable. Making 8.6 honey every hour. Also, what was that legendary one? It was you. You actually sell for a lot. 330, I could buy some more packs with that. But I want to keep you. And I'll probably sell some of these duplicates like a bumblebee and a sweet bee. The sweet bee's actually see-through. That's kind of weird. And then we'll level up a wolf bee just so I can sell it and get away from it. This is the wolf bee's feeding time. You know, for how weird the wolf bee is, I figured it would be like a more common thing or more rare thing than uncommon. But at least you have it so now we can sell it. And the cute bee can also be sold as well because they don't give it very much to begin with. So now we have 11 unique bees with us. And together they generate 58 honey an hour. So that's a, almost a honey a minute. But that takes quite a bit too long, so we're just gonna mess with things a bit. And by mess with things, I mean messing with straight up time. Because if we just advance the clock forward like four hours or so, then we can get that honey instantly. And that's immediate 270 honey for us. Beautiful. And that means we can buy more packs of bees, like a bumblebee. Okay, yep, seen all those. Need something new here. Ooh, there we go. A rare bee and then a cute and ooh, another uncom another common bee that I haven't seen. Oh, look, <laughs> I think the rare, the rare one's a duck. Imagine this was buzzing around your yard. What would you even hear in the first place? A buzz or a crack? The question is, what does this look like full size? Oh, <laughs> it actually somehow looks worse. What is this? It's got rosy cheeks and a wing there too. That is weird. Okay, there's more cute bees here. There was, there's the one that we haven't seen. Just want to see what the new bees are. This one is, Ah, oh, there's a honeybee. Perfect. So since we are also getting a lot of duplicates of the common ones, I feel like we've collected all of them. Oh, and it actually looks like we could level up these bees again. I'm not sure it's worth it though. And these legendary ones take a whole lot more to level up. Want to make sure I keep you though. And then we sell some duplicates. So there should be collections. Here we go. And sure enough, it looks like we've collected all of the common bees. Ooh, but there's golden variants for them. What? And there's only three more uncommon bees that we need. And oh, two more legendaries. There's also an entire beach hive here. Except that one is crazy expensive. Not really gonna worry about that. Just gonna open more bee packs. Okay, leaf bee. Seen all those. Seen all these. Also, this frog bee has been kind of stuck at the bottom for a while. Are you okay down there? Are you too exhausted to fly now? Well, I mean, really, there should be no way a bee can fly anyway. Its wings are too small to get its little body off the ground. But looking at the frog bee, though, it is severely struggling there. Oh, you poor thing. But for right now, I'm gonna keep the second leaf bee here because it has quite a bit to the collection rate. And we'll just advance time again. How about we go an entire day into the future this time? Go ahead and change that. And that gives us 24,000 honey. Oh my goodness. And the bees have leveled up too. Wow, just being gone that long raised the rate to 115? But our... Legendary bee still hasn't leveled up enough. Oh, that's tragic. Something else we can get though is some food upgrades or honey upgrades. Honey upgrades sound really good right now. And we'll go ahead and get a food upgrade because we can. And now we can buy some more force packs. Hopefully get something new. Ooh, and we get one new bee in the uncommon category. And now we don't have enough space. So it looks like some of the baby bees have leveled up on their own too. I think that's what happened. Oh, what are you? Hold up. What are you? You're the new one. Oh. <laughs> Nope, it's a lumberjack bee. He's got his own little axe, too. That's so cursed. Oh, and it looks like there's a percentage bonus happening right now. What's that about? I'm not sure, but I kind of like it. But now we need to sell to make room for things. So we sell you, and then honeybee gets sold as well. Cute bee. Oh, you're locked, so you're the one that gets sold. And the much Oh, you're actually close to being leveled up. I'll sell you instead. And the rainbow bees are looking sellable. We got a sweet bee here as well. And is it wrong if I want to sell some of the babies to make room? You know what? I have room right now. So let's just go ahead and open some more packs. Even though we might not get anything new because we're already discovering most of the bees. And sure enough, we don't have room again. All right, it's time for me to sell some babies. They're not making any honey. So I don't need to waste time with them. All of you can go bye-bye for exactly one honey. And this leaf bee can go away too. All right, that should be 
all of the babies gone except for you as well. Okay, now we're back to 15. How many unique bees are there? Can I even fit all of them in here? Yeah, there's 20 individual bees. And we already have 15 of them. Just got to keep unlocking. Oh, I see a red there. Please be new. Yes, it's new. Oh, wonderful. Maybe I can get something else. Oh, another red one that's new. Excellent. And that's all I can do there. Neat. Where are the new ones? Ooh, look at you. You look like a ninja. And I see that other blue one there buzzing around. You look new. You're some sort of beetle it looks like looks like the kind of thing you'd see in hollow knight but this one that we're feeding is indeed a ninja bee oh he's got a little scythe there too and he alone generates 11 per hour that's really good now where's the there you are time to cram some nutrition down your throat that's how you take care of children right and here we have Ooh, a wizard bee that's so cool look at him buzzing around like i'm a wizard and now we have all these worthless little things that aren't doing us any favors because they're nothing new get rid of them we need to make room for every individual bee and we still have money to keep buying more packs Ooh, yes another uncommon bee this might be the last one of those and then a rare one there oh, oh i've seen you before which is very ironic because that's the ninja i'm putting a lot of money into these bee packs and i'm gained so many of the same ones okay but where Woo, you look new you got a berry bush growing on your back i'm not sure that's healthy so what are you a bush bee or something <laughs> that was a straight up guess there was another new one though right i'm pretty sure there was now if i could just identify you well a ninja bee i've seen before so hmm should i sell you you do help quite a bit with the raid, but you also take quite a bit to grow. We'll get rid of the other ones first. I could grow them all so they collectively add to the raid, but I need to make room for new bees. And also, the rate that it grows is completely irrelevant when you can just fast forward time. I guess the ninja bee ultimately doesn't take too long to grow. And he's also doing a weird flight pattern to collect all the flower bits. At least it's working though, most of the time. So now we just get the good rate from that. So our hive is giving us 140 every hour. So so tell me, game, okay, what does that translate okay, to if we time advance time stop. a week? It is 35,000 honey. Very good. We can actually unlock the beach hive if we wanted to, but we have the plains hive to finish. So let's get some food upgrades so that we can feed the bees even quicker. That got expensive quick. And I think the rest of the money we'll put towards the packs. We got two rares there, but we've seen those both before. The hard part is going to be legendaries. I still can't believe I got one right away, but that's how those sort of things get you. They promise you goodness right away, and then you have to struggle to get it again. At least now we're expensive. Experience things are doing 97 at a time. That's really quick. So if we just take a bee here that needs 260 to level up, that is so quick. Even leveling up again. Now I'm just trying to make sure I got each of the duplicate bees out of the way. I guess at this point I can get rid of the leaf bees and then one of the ninja bees because it's pretty redundant. So now we're looking at 17 individual bees. For 17 unique bees, different bees. So now we can get more of these and just blaze through them really quickly because there's nothing new and exciting here. We're getting a lot of the cool ones again, but sadly I don't need them anymore. So I can just sell them when there's still a baby. It's so wrong. Okay, another rare one. And it's still one that I've already gotten. Have I collected all the rare ones? I'm missing one uncommon bee, but I have collected all the rare ones. Cool. Now I'm just struggling to find the legendary ones again because Frog Bee needs a friend and those little flies buzzing around him don't count. Really want to just turn on a setting that says sell duplicates, but that doesn't exist here. Or just like, you know, reject this card. <gasps> there it is, another legendary. Where are you? Where are you? It's, oh, right here. It's, <laughs> what? What? What oh. am I looking at? That's just a piece of wood. Oh, but the, wow, the upgraded experience really feeds it quick. It's a log bee and it's got a shuriken in it. Must be related to the ninja bee. Oh, that's cool. And that gives 36 an hour. See, I knew just spam buying a whole bunch of card packs would pay off eventually. And now we're missing one legendary and one uncommon. But I feel like we're gonna need a lot more money than this. So here's what we'll do. We'll pour all the rest of the money into honey upgrades, which it looks like it upgrades the percentage makes sense so now we have a rate of 200 an hour so let's just really bump this up in advance time a whole month i feel like this is how you see events before you're supposed to but that's 200 000 honey right there easy and our cupy is almost level eight why don't i just help you get there because it's not very far away but you just like to fly away i'm trying to help you here there we go and now we buy more forest packs so we can see a whole bunch of things that we already have 
and see an uncommon card at the very back. That's something we've seen. At this point, I feel like I have greater odds of getting the other legendary than seeing that uncommon B we haven't seen yet. One thing I am curious about too is we've been fast forwarding time a month and then some. If I return the game to like the like normal time, the time that it actually is, do I just lose all the progress or does the game just break? We'll find out at the end. There it is. There's the last uncommon B. Aw, a little pink thing. You look like a gumball. And you're about to be leveled up super quick. Just a couple of flowers right there, sprinkled around for you. Go on, go and get them, go and get them. You are missing them entirely. Ooh, there's two. Okay, and then one more. Come on, get it, get it. Get the flower, go and get it. Yes, oh, <laughs> oh, it's a worm bee. Why do you have teeth? <laughs> Not what I would have wanted the last bee to be, but okay, here we are. And by last bee, I mean the last uncommon bee. We still have one more legendary to find. So here we go again. And to keep myself from making mistakes, I'm just gonna go ahead and lock all the bees that I currently have because each one of them is different from each other because I'm gonna be selling these bees at an alarming rate. And there's only 30 slots in the hive, so I have to sell so many of these to keep room open for more. Ooh, there's a pink right there. I really hope it's something I haven't gotten before. It's right there, and... No! Frog bee! <laughs> How could you do this to me? And I get another log bee that I already have. whoop de doo I am sick and tired of these log bees already. Why can't it be like those gacha games where you're guaranteed a legendary after like 10 purchases of the packs or something like that? Like even 100, because I guarantee I'm there. Instead, no, I'm just buying a ton of the same packs over and over again and seeing the same bees over and over again. And I know this game is advertised as being relaxing, but how can I relax when there's bees to get? Yet. The sad part is that I've actually been getting legendary cards pretty often now, but they're always the same too. It's either the frog or the log. Like what's the last one gonna be a hog? If it actually is, I am going to face palm so hard. <gasps> I got it, I got it. I got the last legendary bee. Where are you? Right, what the, where are you? <laughs> okay, interesting looking bee. All right, before we do that, let's just get our food upgrade plenty high because we still had so many honey things to work with. So I'll just collect that little flower and oh, instant level up. It's a marshmallow bee. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, that's actually adorable. That was worth the wait. It was quite a wait. I had to buy so many card packs. Oh my goodness. But now we can get rid of all these other ones. It was actually the last pack I could buy that go around since I can only get three at a time. And this thing sells for so much too. I didn't even see how much the, oh my gosh, that's a lot of XP. 17,000? Go crazy in there, bees. Level all of you up so much, I don't even know what to do with you. And with that, we've done it. We've collected every single unique bee that we can get for this hive. It only took fast forwarding time an entire month, but these designs are all really cool. So I think it was worth it. And I do hope you guys enjoyed this video of Time is Honey. And if you wanna see more of it, because there's an entire beach pack that we haven't gone through, then be sure to let me know. And if you want to check out the game for yourself, then make sure you wishlist it on Steam. Thank you guys very much for watching and sub to Intern. And thanks to the channel members, including Bread, Mr. Cripple One, Ancient Elixir One, Corby Farm, Dakota C, Donamoto, Vivian X, Muffin Suffer, Lucas S, Splatter Sex, The Real Nickname, Hateful Herald, Peggy Sue, Drupalong, TJ, Seriously Sarcastic, Angel, Lily, and The Miner Within.